Have you ever wondered why your Boston Terrier scoots its little booty on the ground? Or would you like to know the causes of why your dog's rubbing its bum on the carpet? In this video, I talk with Dr. Reinhardt covering the five common reasons Boston Terriers scoot their booties. Coming up. Hey everybody, welcome to the Boston Terrier Society YouTube channel. Definitely consider subscribing if you're someone who wants to learn more about the breed, learn what it's like to be an owner, hear expert interviews, as well as connect with other Boston Terrier lovers just like yourself. I'm Donnie Gardner, the founder of bostonterriersociety.com. This is Bella, my Boston of over a decade. And today what I wanna to talk about is not the, I'm sure all of you have dealt with this in some form or fashion, you know, your Boston has a hair sticking out of its booty or something sticking out of its booty where it starts to scoot on the ground. That's not what I wanna to cover today. Today I wanna to cover basically the five common medical reasons that this can occur, and that's why I brought on Dr. Reinhard to talk with us today about it. So without further ado, Dr. Reinhard, thanks for coming on the show today. Hey Donnie, thanks again for having me on the Boston Terrier Society YouTube channel. Okay, this might sound a little disgusting, but what are the common reasons that Boston Terriers scoot their booty on the ground? Like Bella here, she'll definitely scoot it whenever she has a hair coming out of it or something like that, which is disgusting but what are like maybe the five common medical reasons this happens? Typically, Boston scoot uh, because their bottom is either uncomfortable or itchy. So one of the most common causes of bottom scooting in Boston Terriers is actually full anal glands. So anal glands are those two sacs that live just inside the rectal area of your dog, and they can fill up with a foul odor liquid. So normally these glands are just expressed as your dog has a bowel movement, but occasionally they can get over full and not express like they should. An anal gland infection can also cause uh, bottom scooting in Boston Terriers. Uh, sometimes the anal glands can even get uh, infected and impacted. So this painful condition happens when the anal glands get infected, swell, and they can even rupture. And uh, you may even see a bloody discharge and your Boston may feel kind of crummy and a little painful. It's pretty normal for your Boston to scoot for two or three days after an anal gland expression. But if your Boston continues to scoot after that period, this could mean that they have allergies. Allergies are usually caused by either an ingredient in the food that your dog is sensitive to or a pollen in the air. So allergies can also cause itchy skin, but they can also cause itching around the bottom that can cause your dog to scoot. Some people immediately assume that if a dog is scooting, that means that they have intestinal parasites or worms. So intestinal parasites can cause scooting, but I would say that this is actually one of the less common causes of scooting. I would say that it's probably more common in Boston Terrier puppies. If your Boston Terrier is a female, occasionally vaginal irritation can cause scooting. So you may notice some swelling and irritation around the vulva um, if the vulva is the issue and the cause for scooting. Another common cause for scooting is diarrhea. So diarrhea can cause the bottom to get irritated and inflamed, which may make your Boston's bottom uncomfortable, which may cause them to scoot. Okay, well, thanks for sharing those five reasons. As far as someone wanting solutions on what they can do to those five reasons, how can they solve this problem? So yeah, fortunately, there are quite a few solutions to these issues. Uh, if you suspect your Boston is scooting because of full anal glands, the first step is to call the vet and get the anal glands expressed. So many times that this can be actually done without a full vet appointment. Anal gland expressions are often performed by veterinary technicians or groomers. If your Boston doesn't stop scooting after that two to three day period after the anal gland expression, there might be an underlying reason for the scooting, uh, like an anal gland infection, parasites, or allergies. So at that point, I would definitely see your veterinarian. Uh, there are medications that can be used to treat these issues. And if your dog is having diarrhea that's causing the scooting, your vet can also assess your Boston and give them medications to calm down the diarrhea, which should hopefully help to improve the scooting as well. Now, as far as having this issue of scooting their booty, whether or not it's a Boston Terrier or really any dog in general, what should someone do in that case? When should they contact their veterinarian? Anytime your Boston does anything out of the ordinary for them, I recommend contacting your veterinarian. So scooting is an issue that can easily be helped uh, by visiting your veterinarian. 
Many times, if your dog is doing fine otherwise, besides just the scooting, your vet's gonna recommend that you bring your Boston in to get the anal glands expressed. So often this can be done without a full vet visit as this procedure is done by veterinary nurses or groomers. So um, you should call your vet uh, if you think your dog needs its anal glands expressed. You should call your vet immediately if you notice any bloody discharge, diarrhea, painfulness, uh, or if your Boston is lethargic or doesn't wanna eat. These symptoms could uh, note that there's a more serious underlying issue besides just full anal glands. Okay, and that totally makes sense. I think that too. Anything out of the ordinary, you should definitely contact your vet. Thanks, Dr. Reinhardt. I really think this information is going to help a lot of people. And thanks for coming on the show today. Thanks, Donnie. It's been great to speak with you again. Okay, just to recap and really to reiterate what Dr. Reinhardt said, if anything unusual is happening with your Boston Terrier, no matter if it's scooting their booty or maybe they're throwing up or anything out of the ordinary and you're concerned, you should contact your veterinarian immediately because they're going to be able to give you the best guidance possible. Now, if it's after hours, and your vet does not have some sort of like pet hotline, then I highly recommend checking out a company like pop.com where they offer a 24 seven vet hotline where you can actually talk to a veterinarian right now. You can send them photos, tell them what's going on, and they'll be able to give you guidance from there. There's a small monthly subscription fee, but you can check them out in the show notes, or you can check a video out that I did about pop.com. You can check that video out up here or down below in the show notes. Question of the day. What other health related questions would you like to see here on this YouTube channel? Put in the comments below. Remember that it's Boston Terrier specific because I'd love to have Dr. Reinhardt on again, answering your specific medical questions. And once again, if you want to get the latest from Boston Terrier Society, definitely subscribe to this YouTube channel. If you want to get other health related videos about Boston Terriers, you can check out a playlist that I created here or one of my latest videos here. Otherwise, until next time, life is better with a Boston.